Nyanjong. Welcome to the Vang. I'm Tanea. And I'm Peter. And today we decided to randomly post on our Instagram of something that you guys probably assume about us. And um, with the answers we got, we decided to make a video. Whoop, 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 whoop. So uh, before we dig in, please uh, make sure to subscribe, to like this video, to share this video, and to ring that bell so you get notified every time we post, okay? We're trying to get more involved, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get up in there. So we posted on Instagram on our story. Um, if you don't know, here's our Instagram name right there. Follow us. We post interesting things sometimes. So the question was, name something that you assume about us that, uh, and it could be anything. Has he ever told you the Hmong myth? Myth. No. Remember the time when I told you about that one guy? It was a myth. He was a Hmong guy, obviously. And um, he was different from the rest of his family members. So he was born like, he was born different. But he had a very unique power and he had a lot of wisdom. So growing up, everybody didn't like this dude. They always hated him because he was quote unquote different. And he eventually, you know. It's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> he eventually grew up to be someone super handsome, someone super successful. And he ended up marrying someone who was a complete opposite from him. So she wasn't Hmong. And when he brought her over to Peter, finally introduce... Peter, Peter, <laughs> I'll do the question. I told you the story about Noonplay, the tiger and the... Lady? Yeah. I was going to say the lady and the tiger, but also I think Kanong told me that story first. Okay. Yeah, so, so... Peter doesn't really share the myths, probably because he doesn't believe in them. But, and I don't know if you mean myths or superstitions. So, if you're uh, talking about superstitions, Peter also never told me yeah, those. Dude, no, no, tell no, no. You, no. About superstitions you told me superstitions after I already asked you about the superstition. Like, I heard it from someone already, and then you explain it to me. Or sometimes I'll just randomly be like, hey, you're not supposed to comb your hair at night. That's a lie. <clears throat> Why are you lying? No, I'm not. No, he really doesn't, unless someone said something to me or you know. I was listening to a conversation and so I would come back to Peter and be like, well, how come they are doing this with this? Or how come like the red cloth on the car thing? You know, like stuff like that. They but, say if you don't kiss your man right now, it brings bad luck. And I'm not superstitious though. Hey, but me. Shoot. Um, when it comes to myths, Peter really doesn't share those type of things. It just never came up though. Not it even that it comes up because I don't think you've ever personally talked about them unless I had a question about it if I heard it somewhere else. Legends, like, are different than superstitions. Speaking of legends, you're talking but about one. He is on one today. He's getting on my damn nerves. <laughs> What's the next question? I hope that answered your question. High school sweetheart. That's what you assume that we're high school sweethearts? Wow. Well, Let's answer that, shall we? In yeah. Three, two, one. Yes. No. I did not start dating Peter until 2013. Well, not until 2012. It was 2012. 2012. We didn't become official until 2013. And at that time, I think I was 23, 22, uh, 23 years old. I forgot how old I was. Yeah, I don't remember. I was way out of high school, though. Yeah. So, no, we are not high school sweethearts. I don't think it would have worked out, to be honest, because we were two completely different person in high school. It would have not worked out. I, I hung around a lot of Hmong people in high school, so it wouldn't have worked out on his end. Although I looked like this, the kind of girls you liked back then, except I'm black. Dick! Next question. Both were meat eaters. Why, how are you vegan? <laughs> Why Both are were you meat vegan eaters. Why and how are you vegan? I was never a big meat eater in the first place. I would eat meat, like I would eat Italian sausage, I would eat pork and stuff. Italian like. sausage. But I was never really a big meat eater, so um, the main thing that I had, um, that I really, really ate was fish. It's easy um, to make a, ve a vegan dish 
and have meat on the side. But actually, lately, we've been making separate uh, dinners. Yeah, lately, I've just been cooking for myself. And, and I've been yeah. cooking for myself. Even if we do cook together, we're still making separate meals. Yeah. It's really strange, but it's a dynamic that works for us. Oh, we'll be cooking at the same time, just two separate that's what meals. I'm, that's exactly uh, what I just said. Yeah. But also, I did a lot of meals that did not have meat when I would meal prep because I don't like, I didn't like reheated taste, the taste of reheated meat. So the meal preps I was doing barely had no meat in it. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I worked in an office, so fish was out. I couldn't reheat salmon in the microwave at work. Um, hey, I'm not vegan, yeah, but not. I, you being vegan has taught me a lot, though, like just the... Because I'm so used to having a protein for everything that when I finally... I despise when people say protein. There are veggie proteins. I'm so used to having a creature on the plate that when I would have to substitute it out for like plant, you know? Um, it taught me a lot of cool things, especially because you were experimenting like crazy. Like, you know, you were using chickpeas for like other things and i opened up the world for me so about yeah. n about 60 percent of the food that i do even for pop-ups has been vegan because of he'll you. add a <laughs> vegan dish or he'll do it completely vegan yeah yep make them forget um i can't make the noise <laughs> remember wait is that kakashi's or itachi's did i have itachi's how did i go vegan I transitioned out. So it took me about eight months to completely transition into veganism. I kind of slip up here and there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually have paid for it because I decided to go to Dairy Queen the other day for an ice cream cone. Yo, stomach was on 10 for a week. I'm still gassy. Because, you know, we're living in 2020. There's so many substitution for meat now where it's kind of like... Yo, and the I vegan meat, y'all sleeping on the vegan meat, though. Like, we found this Italian sausage, this vegan Italian sausage over at Mississippi Market. Oh, yeah, Market. When we was fasting. Or no, that was at Trader Joe's. Yeah, Trader Joe's, surprisingly. And surprisingly, because sometimes they be having cardboard hot dogs, and we ain't got time for it. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, I am still a meat eater. She's not. That's how she, she transitioned out. And I am still eating meat, but I'm also doing a lot better now. I don't eat meat every day except for last week. <laughs> It makes no sense. So the, the next question is in emojis. Do we smoke trees? Do we? No. Not anymore. I think I've smoked maybe three times in my life. <laughs> All three of those are with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad influence. No, um, I don't smoke. I don't do edibles. All of which make me super nauseous. Not anymore. You don't do edibles anymore. Well, remember, I would try and think it was just that edible that made me nauseous and come to find out it's just trees in general that make me nauseous. It don't matter the form. Yeah. Um, I used to smoke a lot back in the day, you know, back in my little Honda Civic. I got the little subs in, but not anymore. I don't know. I just, I just kind of grew out of it. And, but... I can't do edibles. Last time I had an edible, I was butt naked on a massager because I was so nauseous and sweaty and, and dizzy. That is why. <laughs> Where was I? You were at work. Wow. This is this is why people like her don't need to be doing this kind of stuff. Yo, I felt so sick. I felt like I had to puke for like an hour straight. Question. Ooh, it's a you big one. You want me to read it? Cause I no, don't like I got it. I don't make no assumptions. I take man for his card. A woman for jer words. Okay. She I don't it. make no assumptions. I take man for his can a woman for her word i think she meant that in one hand as a as awkward as it may seem life is about understanding not judging those who don't understand i pity the fool um that's not an assumption that is just a statement um so <laughs> I mean, I, I I get what they're trying to do, but we just I just wanted a question. I didn't want like a yeah, a statement. We also do not assume anything. But looking at your picture, you look like you didn't argue. You don't argue too often. Not that we want anyone to argue, but often couples have their differences. You two just look don't look like you have too many of them too often. Again, never met, so can't judge. But taking this is just for kicks, guessing game, all the good fun. Uh, thanks for that. We just had a disagreement this morning. No, we don't argue. I don't think we've ever 
argued? Um, We've had a lot of disagreements. We um, talk about it though, you know. That, yeah, that's it because mm -hmm. um, even when we're upset, like in the past, we would get upset, we'd just go to our separate rooms and cool down. Yeah. But we wouldn't yell, or at least Peter wouldn't. He doesn't yell, and if he does yell, you probably pushed him over the edge. But I, like all couples, you know, you have those disagreements, yeah. and sometimes it gets super heated. But we don't, we don't argue. No, we normally wait a day to kind of settle in. Um, not even, not anymore. Some, sometimes we still wait a day. Do we? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, we still wait a day. Maybe that's so. when you at work and I'm sleeping or something. Yeah, but um, no, we have a lot of disagreements for sure. But we talk about. We bring it up though, even when it's uncomfortable. We yeah, we kind of just talk through it. And a lot of times it's really just a misunderstanding. Yeah. 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 We, um, communication is huge. So I'm one of those people that I kind of don't leave you alone. Yeah. Those knowing until, and those are knowing what? I didn't say anything. Peter, I heard you. What was you saying? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm hmm. Yes, those annoying people that are like, hey, hey, hey. That's hey. not what I do. I just try to understand where he's coming from, usually. Yeah. Then I try to understand where you're coming from because we're speaking to, we're speaking the same thing, just two different language. We're in the same book, just on different chapters. That's really how it'll be sometimes. And if you don't talk about it, it's going to keep getting that way. Next thing you know, we arguing about who left the toothpaste out when I didn't even the issue at all. Thank you for those assumptions. Those were actually very vanilla. I expected y'all to kind of go in. <laughs> so with this being part one, since we just randomly posted this on our on our Instagram. IG. Uh, if more questions come in, we will make a part two. Yeah. And I want y'all to ask those questions and to say what you assume about us. Because we, we can take a joke. So yeah, thank you for uh, watching uh, this cool little, you know, what would we call this? Q and A, or A and A? Assumptions <laughs> oh, and answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that. Assumptions. A and A. <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> so yeah, no, for real though. Um, thank you guys again for tuning in. Please subscribe for more videos so you can stay up to date on what we do, and follow us on all. Platform. All the platforms, all the uh, info is below. Uh, look for out, look at the hello. Look out for a video from us every weekend on Saturdays. See, we will be here. Okay. And yeah. Bye. Peace.